Hi guys, it's Allie, and today I have a wish haul. It's not just a wish haul, it is a wish miniatures haul. And I'm going to start out the video by saying I may have a problem. I think I am addicted to wish. I know, I know. I am way late to the party, as I usually am. But, I cannot believe how addicting Wish can be. Now, I'm going to put the prices on the screen for these items because I have to look them up. We're going to go through all the items that I got from Wish. I've waited for them to come in in drips and drabs. And so I'll put it up on the screen. I'm not going to include the shipping and handling because I think it's going to be different for everybody. I don't know. You tell me. So I'll put that up on the screen and I have a whole bunch of items to look at. And then I have what is um, like blind bags where they send you, I got two groupings, one of five and one of 10 blind bags for miniature items. I don't remember what I got because it was about three weeks ago. Those of you that uh, have shopped with Wish before know that, you know, it comes from China, Japan, um, so sometimes things can really take a while to get to you, and sometimes you might not get what you think you're getting. So from what, I, this is what I've learned, I've, I ordered something and it came and it was definitely not what I thought. So without further ado, welcome to my channel, let's get started. All right, I got 10 little packages. I've cut them all open, but I haven't really looked at them. I just wanted them to be open so that I can get into them easier and you don't have to see me cutting them open. So let's see. Of course, we've got more to cut open. And I started with the wrong one. But <laughs> let's open this up. And I think I know what this is. Now, for those of you who've watched my channel, um, know the story that I am getting started in miniatures, which is something I've always wanted to do. Oh, how cute are these? They're little picture frames. I'm going to open them up. I'll just put them out so we can look at them. They're just white resin frames that I suppose you can paint, which I probably will paint. I hope the lighting is good. It's very bright in my hand, but it doesn't seem as light on the screen. So anyway, they're really cute. They're, they're matching, so it'll be cute in a little miniature. Um, I have my ruler out here so you guys can see how big it is um, to whatever scale that you are going for. Um, right now I'm working in half scale, which is um, half an inch to a foot, but um, a lot of people will be doing regular dollhouse scale, which is uh, one foot per inch. So that'll give you an idea. All right, next item. So the next item are these cute little bottles. Now, I thought about, um, I can't get it open. Let's just cut it. I did think about making a little bar um, in one of my dollhouse, in my little kit dollhouse, but it's not, definitely not to scale. Um, this is a little bottle of, whoops, would help if I was on screen, of Hennessy. Don't mind my busted up nail. This is, <laughs> I have no idea. Looks like XO. I have no clue. Past King? Hmm, I don't know. Whoops. It's cute. And then this one is a little... <laughs> 
Johnny Walker Red Label and the lit. Red, red Label is a little bit crooked, but that's okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way on the regular bottles, but that's really cute. There's the little top. Okay. And those came in a group of three. On to the next. I'm sorry that there's a glare on these. But this, oh, I thought I thought this was so cute. And I don't know if you could hear, it's metal. Um, this is a little, whoops, I can barely hold it with all this equipment in front of me. Um, little hooks. I guess you would nail it or glue it. Little tiny nails. I don't know. And these, listen. Oh no. It did sound like metal. Almost feels like metal. But these are to hang in a kitchen. Again, the project I got it for <laughs> is half scale. These are way too big. Oh, look at that. My hooks are bent. Or this does not have a big enough hole. Let's see. Let's try it over here. I think it's this little spatula doesn't have a good enough hole. I might have to try and stick something in there. How about the ladle? The ladle makes it on, so it's just this one. But the ladle doesn't spin. It's kind of, oh, there it goes. Yeah, I can't get this one on there. So, we'll have to work on that. Or maybe this will be what's in a pan or something and not on the wall. Oops. That's really cute. I like that. And that, again, was one whole set. Now, I hope this is going to be... Okay to see. It is. Let's see how many pieces it doesn't say. Oh, sorry about the noise. I can't get this bag open. Okay. So, if you've noticed, there's a little, there was a little theme here because I was doing a little kitchen scene. Um, but again, since I'm new to this, these are all too big, but can be useful for when I do start working in full scale. I hope you can see these. Obviously, they are supposed to be, that one needs a little filing, a glass or crystal set of things. Um, but I, actually I can use some of these. Um, I'll paint, end up painting them maybe white to look like milk glass and to go on a little shelf. They have assorted little plates. Nothing is a place setting. Nothing. Oh, these two glasses match. Um, here's a little cute champagne glass. Here's a little cup, and then here's a little beer mug, which the plastic has to be knocked out of the center here. A little ice cream cup, again it's got little pieces of plastic that are just hanging off from the mold. This can work in my this can work as a platter in my little half scale and then I'm not sure what this is this little plastic here some kind of heart shaped mug or something we'll figure it out and just two plates I thought there'd be more plates 
it's cute. So it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 piece set. We're going to move them out of the way. Next. Now I had a lot of high hopes for this because the picture looks so good. But this is how I got it in those little folder, those little packets. It's supposed to be a little area rug, which, yeah, on camera it looks really cute. It's got these cute little fringes. I don't know why they stuck a sticker. Oh, it comes off. That's good. Okay, that's good. It came off. Okay, I'm happy. But, um, yeah, that's really cute. I probably just steam it, get the wrinkles out. This I can definitely use, even though it's probably... Actually, it... This scale can really probably be half scale. Tell me what you guys think. This is six and a half inches. So that's a six foot rug in, in full scale. Twelve foot in half scale. We can make it work. It's cute. Um, and this one, I think this was really cheap. I think it was taller. We'll see. So far, we're doing pretty good. So far, I'm pretty happy with everything. I mean, when I consider how much these things cost to buy on Wish, obviously this is some... Oh, boy. Darn it. I don't want to break it. Well, this is supposed to be a chandelier, but I can't get the. Okay, a little brute force, and we'll get it loose. That's really sweet. Obviously, it doesn't light. It's a little bent. I was hoping that it would be a magnet, but whatever. I could always put a magnet from Dollar Tree on there and and uh, hang it, hang it that way. But that's really cute. All oh, the dogs say hi, everybody. Cause why should I ever get through a, a video without the dogs barking? <laughs> and the birds. <laughs> okay. That's really cute. And this one, I think this was the only choice in, in this one. Okay, so I'm trying to show you guys how these come packaged so that you will know what to expect. Um, they come in those little things, but when you buy multiples from one seller, I guess they, they ship them in a bigger envelope. So this was a set of two. It, I did not buy two. It was a it was a double set. So I'm just going to open up one to show you. But how cute is that little perfume bottle? It's just a little crystal. And guys, I am aware that you can make things like this out of stuff, but I mean, when it it's this cheap, you really can't you really can't pass it up. So, very cute. Nice detail. When you look at it, you can see the pump inside. The little crystal. Is it a real crystal? No, it's, a, you know, one of those cheap plastic things. But it's pretty cute. And, of course, there were two. Okay, now this was something I was really looking forward to, and I am pretty sure I'll be happy with this if I can get it out. This is certainly packed well. Oh my gosh, just look at that little tiny Ziploc bag. That alone... Is, your, is a miniature. In full scale, I suppose you could put a sandwich in that, right? And have a little lunch set. But, 
let's see if I can actually not ruin it because I would like to keep it just the way it is. Oh my gosh. Let's try and get it out without ripping this. Oh, got it. And I'm definitely saving that little cute little bag. So cute. All right, so it, it would be a foot. I guess it would be, have to be a big sandwich. It's seven o'clock. Time to wake up. Oh, man. I don't know if I can even zoom it without offending you with my disgusting fingernails from grooming dogs and gardening this week. Yeah, there we go. How cute. So cute. It even on the back shows you the little dials to change the, t if, obviously it's not working, a working clock, but to, to wind it and to change the time. I had a Mickey Mouse one of these when I was a kid. Or was it Snoopy? It was probably Snoopy. I still have my little Snoopy watch. That is cute. All right. It's got nice weight to it, too. I don't think it's metal, but it might be. Okay, I have three more items, all of which um, the sizes are not what I expected. Um, two of them being, I think, too big and one of them being too small. So that's packed in bubble, which is nice. Ooh, wrapper's flying. You probably already know what this is. But this is a little waffle maker. And it is a little, well, I should have expected it, right? This is really kind of cheap. See if the little waffle pieces fit, and they do. So you could either use these in the waffle maker or on a plate. But how cute is that? Oh, let's see if it closes. Yep, it does. So that's really cute. I think maybe a little shading on this will make it look a little bit better. Stickers are kind of shiny. Looks a little like a Barbie type thing, but I don't know. I still like it. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to go right to is this violin. Now, this is not anything like I thought it was going to look like. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, and I thought it was going to look a little more like wood, you know, according to the picture, but it does have strings. It is cheap plastic, so again, this... You know, maybe you could use some some painting to kind of dull the shiny plastic and make it look a little less. It's very light. Make it make look a little less plastic. But um, actually, I I know nothing about string instrument instruments, but I wonder if this could pass for a cello because that scale would be right for my little house. What do you think? Okay, and the last item, which will probably end the video, and I will probably um, do the blind bags in a separate video because this video is already 10 minutes long. Oh, 10 minutes. It's 20 minutes long. Wow. I didn't realize I was talking that long. But this is a little, little teeny... I'm going to show it. It's just a little planter. Um, you had 
a choice of four. But what I was hoping was that if I took, this is the smallest of the four. Well, it really doesn't want to focus on this, does it? Um, I thought if I picked the smallest, that it might be a better scale for my little, uh, I'll have to show you what I'm talking about. It's a little paper mache, um, like fallen tree type of house where you could see in the side. Anyway, I didn't do a how-to video on it or a building video, so it's sort of in the middle of being done, but I thought this would be cute on their little porch, but it is small, but I guess I can just use it as a regular planter. So, yeah, that's not bad. All right, so that are that is all 10 items that I got from Wish. Hopefully, you guys got a good look at everything, and there's so much more, and I do have more on the way because I have a big problem. <laughs> But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I've got a lot more miniature stuff coming up and some art stuff coming up. So click the button to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I hope I see you again. Okay, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I'm using one of these. Before you go, I'm using one of these little Tupperwares from Dollar Tree to store these all in until I do get a chance to use them or refinish them and um, I probably do some videos on how I customize them for myself and or if I paint them or whatever um, so tell me what what was your favorite item today I think that I like I think my favorite is the rug and the picture frames and the lining and the little clock. The little clock. Oh, I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section. And these are going to stay safe and not get lost in here. All right. Bye.